So here we have praseodymium as 10 millimeter cubes in an ampule. And I'm sort of, <laughs> just in setting this out, it was just like hurting cats because these things just want to take on a life of their own. But here we go. It seems to be behaving now. Uh, praseodymium is a beautiful metal uh, that has a very light yellow-green tone to it. You can see here. Uh, but it's a super delicate metal uh, from the Rare Earth series. And uh, if this ampule were to break, the, the metal would lose that luster within 24 hours. It would start, you know, get very dark. And, and after just a few days, uh, it would just be completely dark. In fact, the, the normal way we used to sell these uh, in oil uh, was completely black there's a, a photo of it on the website and that's how it used to stay once uh you know in, in oil uh, after even if i plop this in, in mineral oil today it would it would still get dark because oxygen still gets into the uh the oil it's a much slower process than air but and it does stabilize but there is no way to keep it uh fully lustrous like this uh in oil or any other substance. There's no coating you can apply or anything like that. It has to be kept under argon gas or a vacuum. That is it. Uh, or some other noble gas, but you, you get my point. There, There is no way to have this in in the flesh, so to speak, um, and, and, and get it to stay this way on a long-term basis, unfortunately. So uh, these, uh, because of that, uh, primarily because of that, uh, these uh, cubes are not very cheap and uh, you know you only get half of the experience so to speak because you can't put these in in the acrylic trays that we we sell you, you know you can't hold it in your hands you can't directly measure it uh, so you know that sucks uh, unless you you know you're you're wealthy and you can afford to buy these uh, by the bushel and and just show somebody hey let's crack one out and and you can play with it and sure for you know an hour or two it'll look exactly like this uh, but then it's downhill from there you, even if you took it out and put it into a brand new ampule under argon it's too late you know it, it may look like this for a while even in the new uh, ampule but after a few days you would see the damage that was done uh, on it and unfortunately that's that's just nature you know we live in an atmosphere full of oxygen what can you do so um that's all for praseodymium the the metal itself is not terribly expensive it's about uh, i want to say around 500 dollars a kilogram uh which you know it's not terribly cheap but uh you know that that doesn't you know work out to 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 be anything near what you would expect the cost of the a 10 millimeter cube to be you know this is probably weighs about 15 grams or so less or maybe around 10 uh what am i saying no the density of praseodymium is less than 10 grams so let's say anywhere from seven or i i can't i don't have that fact up in my head but uh whatever it is around six or seven grams uh, of this, you're 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 looking at a cost of, uh, so that would work out to you know twenty bucks worth of material, and and yet you're paying multiple times that uh, because of the special treatment and you know how hard it is to to get it you know perfectly cubic and then put it in the ampule and all that processing is really the reason why they're so expensive. So uh, yeah, there we go think you know they want to take a life of their own here that's it for praise Udemium, guys if you have any questions about these cubes or the metal or anything else let me know i'm happy to answer your comments this is raciel for losateria